Note reading step eight. We now are doing rhythm levels 12, 13, and 14. And we're going to need a new tool, which is counting to eight. <laughs> we are counting eighth notes is what that means instead of quarter note beats. So before we were clapping or using a metronome for one, two, three, four, four quarter note beats per card. Now we're gonna divide that Another way to say that is we're going to subdivide the beat so that we have eight parts. So we're counting eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to count to eight and our hands are going to do the rhythm. So this card would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can come open for a rest or you're up for a rest, whatever works for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, if you have a quarter note, you're gonna be holding that for two eighth note beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once that's easy, you're gonna wanna go back and count to four. So the quarter note beat, just like we did, uh, had the metronome do in the previous levels, we're now going to be saying, and then our hands will be doing the rhythm that is on the card. So there's going to be things happening in between the numbers that we're saying. And the reason that I don't say one and or one and two and is because it's just too difficult for most people to do while they're playing. We want something that's easy while you play. And by spending the time doing all the levels leading up to this and doing all that chanting, you're going to already in your head and um, in your body already understand where the beat fits with these notes. So if you don't, go back and review those levels. So this would be counting to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? So then the next level, we have our dotted quarter note returns. And remember that a dot adds half the value to what it's next to. So for a quarter note, half of a quarter note is an eighth note. So we're gonna add an eighth note. A quarter note normally gets the equivalent of two eighth notes, so two of those. So now we're gonna add one more, so three eighth notes. So counting to eight, this will be, and I'll just maybe, well, I'll just do it the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And normally you're gonna to wanna to go through these cards without pausing in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so then how would you do this level counting quarter notes? That's the next step once you're comfortable and understand it, counting eighth notes. So one, two, three, four. Now, you're thinking in your, I'm, I'm hoping you're feeling inside something more like this. One, two, three, Four. So that eighth note beat, because you've counted to eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're still filling that subdivision of the beat, even though you're going one, two, three, four. So it's kind of like, here's what you're feeling, here's what you're tapping, okay? One, two, three, four. In fact, that is um, another level of difficulty you could add, if you'd like, is to do the subdivided um, eighth note beats in your left hand while you tap the the rhythm in your right hand. That is another option if you want another level of difficulty. Okay, so counting to four. One, two, three, four. So I had to fill three, four to know that this was three, four. And that's why we spent the time we did with the other phases. Okay, the last level in this step has syncopation. And in other words, we're emphasizing the offbeat. 
the the and if you grew up counting one and two and or the key if you're thinking of t key t key and so counting to four is gonna be a little more difficult counting to eight pretty much even removes the syncopation feeling so one two three four five six seven eight or counting to four one two three four see how we're playing in the middle of those main beats one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be one, two, three, four. So um, go through each of these levels counting to eight. If it was really simple, right away you can try counting to four. If it was difficult, you're still processing these rhythms and the values and what they mean and how they relate to each other, then stick with counting to eight until you feel comfortable then try counting to four.